Hello everyone, Neil from Merge Informer here, and in this video I'm going to go over a very exciting update that we just pushed to Merge Informer, which is adding the most requested feature that we've had for about a year now, which is TeePublic to the single upload interface. So we're going to go over how that works, setting it up, and everything you guys need to know. Now, if you are brand new to this and you want to automate your uploads to TeePublic, first you're going to want to have a Merchant Former account, and two, you're going to want to have a pro Merchant Former account. Now, when you're inside of Merchant Former, it's going to look like this. It's going to depend on your screen size. If you have a fairly large screen, once you have a pro account, you can come up here to the single upload interface and download either Windows or Mac version, which is going to be the software that allows you to automate your uploads to over 20 different marketplaces. Now, before we get into it, I just want to make note that when you first start this, please go through the walkthrough video. It's going to tell you how to set everything up. But this is... Fairly big news with Merge Informer. We just added T Public. Everyone has been asking us to do that. We finally uh, got this up and running. So let's go over to T Public, take a look at what is inside, and we'll kind of go over it and then we'll set up the SUI, the single upload interface. And I'll show you guys how easy this is to do. Now, this is T Public. Uh, one of the best marketplaces to sell on they have a ton of traffic they actually promote your items they run sales to your items and they offer so many different print on demand products so if you don't have a t public account they actually the first thing you want to do before you set up the sui is go get yourself a t public account log in and start playing around with it okay this is one of the best uploading experiences however it does take quite a while to get all your products situated so Let's go ahead and upload an image. I'm just going to drag one in here. This is the step to do it manually. So I want to go over it manually and then I want to show you how to set this up inside of the software so you can get your artwork that you might be selling on merch, Etsy, doesn't really matter, onto TeePublic so you can expand your business. So you'll see this is just a little sloth riding a Christmas tree rocket here. And we'll scroll down. So TeePublic has a few different options. First, you have title and description. You guys should be very familiar with that. They have supporting tags and they have a main tag. Now the main tag is kind of the overarching niche. And it says right here, what one tag would I search for to find this specific design? And then the supporting tags are just going to be relevant tags to the overarching niche. So you'll want to fill out all four of these boxes and then we get down to the bottom here. Now, you'll see the t-shirts are automatically selected here. You can turn them on and turn them off for hoodies, tanks, crewnecks, all of the different clothing items, as well as select default colors for all of this. Now, if you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see they offer a ton of product colors. You can do all light, dark, or none. Clearly, don't do none. They need to be on some sort of color here. But really what I want to show you guys is when you select a product here, you can center it with these two buttons up and down, so vertically or horizontally, as well as scale of the design. Okay, This is very important once we get into the software. At the bottom, you'll see all the other products. So you'll see that apparel is actually selected right now. You can come down here and you can select stickers, which will give you different options. Okay, So here's stickers. You can change the background color of those. Here's phone cases mugs, wall art, so on and so forth, magnets, pins, tapestries. But for each one of these, you'll want to come through here and actually make sure that all of these are sized and positioned correctly. Maybe you want to do a background color. This can take quite a bit of time. Okay, This might be too big, so you can set the scale down. Maybe it's 100% when you log in. That might be a little too big, so you want to set the scale down a little bit. Going through each individual one of these and changing all of the options takes quite a bit of time. Okay, so that is why we added it to the single upload interface. So let me go ahead. We'll go back inside a Merchant Informer. Remember, you can download it here at the very top. If you have a smaller screen, you'll want to download it from the right-hand menu underneath your name. Now let me go ahead and open this up here. This is the single upload interface. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and uploaded a CSV table. If you do not have one of these or are confused, make sure to run through this walkthrough video right here inside a Merchant Informer. That's going to explain all of that to you so that you can get this up and running. So the next thing we need to do, 
once we have our CSV in here, this basically has the title, description, the main tag, tags, price, and image path, okay? So I usually use this as an example for other marketplaces, but the same thing applies for T Public. So when you want to upload to T Public, you go to services, okay? Click on T Public. This is what we just added. I'll make this big so you guys can see it. And here are all the options. So all you're going to do is you're going to pick the options that you want to upload. So for the picture, we have the image path in the CSV file. If you didn't have it in the CSV file and uploaded to the images table, you could simply click that button. But I highly recommend you put it into the CSV so you can just use the drop down menu. Next, it's going to ask you where do you want to print the front, back, or front and back. I'm going to keep it just front and I'm going to keep the background color as black. Now you could go in here and change this around with the color picker, but I'm just going to leave that there. Now for the title, you're just using the drop down menu for what you put in the CSV file that you want to upload. Okay, so title will match it to title. Description will match it to description. Remember that main tag we just saw in T Public? I put that in the CSV file as well and the supporting tags. Now if you scroll down, you'll see all these products. Okay, once you select all of these, you're going to get more options below. Now you can do, you know, one or another. I'm just going to select all of them because I want to get the most visibility to my product. And then we'll scroll down and we'll see those options. Remember how you had light only or dark only? Let's go dark only. That sounds good. It'll automatically select the colors. We keep scrolling down. We'll see options for stickers. Okay, I like to keep this pretty pretty simple. So I'll just do exactly what their default is. Die cut design plus background color, print edge to edge. Yes. Orientation we will do, you know, you have portrait or landscape. I'm going to do portrait because that's the typical sizing aspect ratio three to four. We have magnet layouts. Same thing here. Now at the very bottom, you have some different options. So here are the product defaults. Remember when we picked the default colors, let's just go back and I'll show you guys. Uh, pick apparel these default colors right here. Okay, so you can click black That is what this is going to do so you can come in here and pick different options Okay, now the image scale on the right when you are uploading either merch by Amazon designs or designs that might be in different dimensions You want to make sure you do that first because if you don't these might you might not have an idea of what to set these to Okay, so for example if I come into T public, let's go back over that page Let's open, let's open masks. Okay, so we'll come in here and we'll notice that this one right here when I upload it, just so it fits, you want to set it to maybe 80%. Okay, so we can come into the single upload interface, find masks and set this at 80%. Therefore, each time you upload your design, it's going to look correct on the items on T public. So really all you're doing is you're uploading a CSV file, you're selecting a bunch of options. And once you have that, you'd want to go to uploader. This is what the uploader will look like, all the different services. Select T public, select the one you want to upload, and you can check and see exactly what you're going to upload. So here's the product, here's where it is on my computer, the title, the description, the main tag, the supporting tags. We didn't set a background color, okay? We have a color set of dark here, all the colors picked and all of the products. So after that, all we have to do is click on start uploading. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it is going to bring this up. It's going to say, hey, it's opening a browser. It's going to ask me to sign in here. So give me one moment. I will sign in and then it will keep uploading. All right, so we're signed in and now I'm just sitting back on my computer. It's going to go through here and do everything for us. It's uploading the picture. I'm not touching it. I'm not picking any options. I'm literally just running this in the background and letting the software do all the heavy lifting so that I can focus on what actually matters, which is going through and creating new designs. Right now, you'll see that it's actually filling out the listing. It's filling the title, the description, all of the stuff that we went over at the beginning of this video, it's doing automatically for us so that we don't have to sit there and type each individual product out. Right, so now it's on the last step. It's actually submitting the design to make sure that it's live on T Public. And there we go. The work is uploaded. So let's go ahead and go back to T Public. All right, we will go to the storefront. And there we go right here. Let's click on it. And as you see, here is the t shirt. Okay. And here are the different 
uh, styles that we picked. And if we scroll down, we'll see all of the different products that we picked for sale on T Public. Okay, so this is going to be an awesome way to get your artwork that you are selling on other platforms onto one of the marketplaces that drives some of the highly targeted traffic that actually ends up purchasing your product. But using the single upload interface inside of Merch Informer, again, you need a pro account for this. Get a pro account, come in here, download it, get this set up, and expand your business. If you have any questions, drop them below. Appreciate you guys watching till the end, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.